Hello there, my beautiful Scorpio friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Ria and I do these readings every week. Now I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you. And at the end of this reading, Scorpio, I'm going to pull an additional bonus card, including an angel number for you as well. So Stay tuned for that, my friends. All right, we're starting here with the Ace of Wands. Something new, something exciting, something that's going to make you smile, whatever this is. I feel this is going to have a major positive impact on your life. I feel for some of you, you are starting a new project, starting a new job, moving into a new home, whatever this is, it's new. It is something that you have manifested into your life, Scorpio. And I'm seeing a lot of excitement. I'm seeing a lot of fun times around this. So expect this to come through. If I were you, I would do a happy dance because there's a lot of happy with this energy. All right. And the devil card. This is flaming in the background here. It is a major arcana card. It's pro profound. It's there. It's affecting your life. And you need to recognize what the devil in your life is, Scorpio. So what I'm feeling here is this could be something that is holding you back. You know what this is. This could be a daily habit, the way that you're thinking. But whatever this is, it lingers in and out of your life. And it tempts you. It seduces you. It tries to pull you towards it and this is what you must avoid at all extremes here Scorpio because what I'm feeling is whatever this new beginning is whatever these dark clouds were that were on top of you at one point have cleared away and now there's an opening but the devil's trying to pull you back in towards that old version of yourself this is what I'm getting through my intuition right now some of you are shedding skin sometimes some of you are coming to this new place you have reinvented yourself and those old habits, that old way of doing things might be kind of pulling you back towards it. And spirit guides want you to have some healthy boundaries up for yourself around this energy so you're able to recognize it and avoid being pulled back in. Okay? So that's interesting. And the moon card. So this is all about things that are hidden, mystery and magic in your life, things that are going to be revealed. So I feel for a lot of you, there's truths that are going to be revealed. I feel also here that there's things or events um, happening at night here. Maybe you're being woken up as you are dreaming or something kind of calling your name. <laughs> Believe it or not, I used to have this happen to me where I'd be sleeping at night and I would hear a clear as day like someone sitting beside me saying hello. Sometimes I would hear it in a woman's voice or in a man's voice. So I feel some of you are, like, there's somebody on the other side is what I'm getting here trying to connect with you here, Scorpio. So be aware of this. I'm getting like both masculine and feminine energies here. So uh, for all of you uh, that are watching, it might be different, but there is somebody there and I feel this comes up at night for you. So it's someone trying to connect for sure. This is kind of what I'm getting here for you. So give me a moment while I take a look at your cards, take a look at your spread and see what my intuition is drawing in. So you have two major arcana cards. So there's a lot of things that are happening. Some of you are going to feel this intensely. Some of you are going to feel this subtly, but no, it's there. The devil and the moon. Now, with the Ace of, so uh, Ace of uh, Wands coming through, this is very uh, exciting for you, Scorpio. So some of you already experienced this where there is a new beginning at hand. Okay, whatever this is, this is going to really uh, move you in a positive direction, move you forward, actually. And, you know, this could be in the form of a new position, like a new job, uh, a new project that you're starting, something new that you are beginning here, Scorpio. And... You know, that feeling is there, that excitement is there. Some of you have taken a leap of faith, taken that big risk to see how this is going to pan out for you and know that this is your confirmation from spirit guides and the universe that, hey, Scorpio, you did the right thing. This is your confirmation that you are on the right track. And those of you that are looking for a yes or no answer, your answer is yes with the Ace of Wands card. Things are about to move for you and move for you very quickly. I feel that um, this is something that some of you have been wanting to do for a very long time. This has been in the back burner and you're finally coming around to doing this. For others, this is kind of something that has happened spontaneously where it has shown up or it's about to show up and you 
you know, on, on, on uh, you take this like leap of faith, you think about it a little bit, but you're kind of taking your gut instincts into play here and just jumping on this opportunity. This has shown up in your life for a reason here, Scorpio. It's because you're meant to embark on it. You're meant to actually do this. So there's going to be a lot of learning around this as well. I feel like some of you are kind of, because this is a new project, this is a new endeavor, there's going to be a learning experience with this. But I feel this is you leveling up. Because you haven't done this before, this is you learning something brand new, gaining that skill set, and really armoring up with new knowledge, new information, right? And what I'm getting here is there is... Um, not a new project. I don't know why I'm getting this for some of you. Um, there's, I'm getting a child coming in. So whether this is through a relationship or if some of you are uh, expecting a child, there is a child coming through and this is going to be your new project in a way is raising this new child. And whoever this new child is, they're going to be very free spirited. They're um, very vibrant, very energetic, very happy. So this is a different kind of energy that is coming into your life. And I feel that some of you may ha have not experienced a personality like this before. And whoever this person is, they're like whoever this new child is or a new person is that's entering your life, even though this isn't tied to relationships, I do feel there is a relationship coming in through whatever this is. It's bringing a new relationship with it that this this person has a very positive outlook so they're going to change the way that you think and have you experience life a little bit differently as they're kind of uh, joining forces with you I don't know what that means like uh, combining this joint effort together so this could be a project maybe you're going to find a partnership start something new this could be a friend whatever this is there's almost like a joint um a joint adventure happening here for some of you. All right, so that's coming through very strongly. This is going to be very successful, by the way. I want you to know that like you are making your dreams come true here, Scorpio. So patience is going to be key because remember you're learning, you are working towards, it's gonna require that you put a lot of effort, energy and time towards it. Put that lov loving, nurture, care, emotion to it as well, okay? And you have to be passionate about it. I do feel you're passionate, but I feel that igniting that fire with fire within you to really um, have that burning desire behind it, okay? I feel that it is already there, but I don't know why spirit guides are wanting me to mention this. Now, the devil is there in the background, and this could be some sort of an addiction. This could be the way that you're thinking. This could be a person. This could be something that kind of lures you into it, okay? And you have a soft spot for this, Scorpio. So this is what I'm getting here, and it kind of like seduces you towards it or tempts you into like... I quit alcohol and someone's drinking and they're offering you a drink. You're like, oh, I just quit and I'm just trying to stay on top of this, you know, and it's trying to pull you in. You're kind of like, oh, I don't know. I, sh I just, or maybe, uh, you know, it's like, no, you have to stand your ground here, Scorpio. I feel for some of you, you're in this process of reinventing yourself by this 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 new project it could be you your project is you this is you reinventing yourself and coming to this new place in your life right and it's going to require this is going to require you focus on it and it requires all of you here scorpio so you don't have time for this whatever this is for you okay and i do feel that temptation is there very strongly it is definitely in the background maybe you're thinking about it maybe you are kind of you know, using that inner strength to really not uh, be swayed down this path again. It's your old life for some of you. It's like, oh, this old life is here. It's calling back at you. And maybe this new chapter is a little bit hard because you're trying to kind of learn how to maneuver your way or navigate your way through it because it is a new learning experience and that can be tough and uncomfortable. But spirit guides want you to hold that vision. They want you to hold that place that you just entered and really focus in on the bigger goal and don't allow the devil to steer you back into that old way or that old pattern, that way of thinking, that old belief system, whatever this is for you, Scorpio, okay? And I know it's calling your name and it sounds really good, but you have to avoid this at all costs, okay? 
And, you know, I, I just wanted to mention that the devil is always in our lives. For me, like the devil is this gummy bear energy. Like I get rid of it sometimes, but then I go to the store and they're there and it's like, ooh, and I give in and it's the worst thing ever. And, you know, I've, I've gone through my last bag of gummy bears and I'm not going to buy any more. I've told myself this. So I'm going to see how long I can avoid the devil in my life. So I feel for some of you, maybe it's your health, right? You've been going through a really hard time with your health and you're finally starting to make way and you're starting to see changes but you know there's a bucket of ice cream there waiting for you and you're kind of like Ugh, no I can't do this I can't go back on that right so it's that kind of energy that is kind of luring you back in and I feel spirit guides are showing you signs you're seeing some of the signs you're seeing butterflies is the biggest one I'm seeing for you I'm seeing a yellow black butterfly and a pink and a blue one, all different kinds of butterflies. So if you've been seeing butterflies in your life, this is Spirit Guides letting you know that, hey, Scorpio, things are working. Let's keep going. You're on the right track. Don't focus back. Don't focus on the past here. Don't focus on those things that once were. Let's leave them where they belong in your past and keep moving forward. Just hold on a little bit longer because... The more you practice this brand new life, the more that you kind of keep doing what you're doing towards that vision, the more you're going to get better at it, right? And that's the hardest part is that transition period. So I feel spirit guides are leading the way and they're letting you know through uh, signs from the universe. And I really feel butterflies are a big one for you. There's other signs there as well, but I feel the more prominent signs are the butterflies for you, Scorpio. So keep an eye out for butterflies anytime you see one. It's a reminder that you're on track, you're keep going, that you're doing a great job, okay? And the moon card, some of you are noticing things at night. There's mystery or magic. There's something that is kind of coming up. Maybe you're dreaming. Maybe you've incorporated some sort of a nightly ritual into your life, a meditation, a nightly meditation, whatever there is. Uh, whatever it is that's like kind of in your life, there's uh, a lot of things are that are going to kind of shine light uh, in your life here okay things that may have been hidden things that you wanted answers for those are all going to be revealed to you Scorpio I feel here there's somebody on the other side try, trying to connect with you and whenever they're trying to connect it's more around when the uh, the moon is out or more so during the full moon so I don't know have you been hearing wolves howling coyotes howling dogs howling so this is what I'm getting the howling sounds and as this is coming through, this is a sign to you that there's somebody there on the other side trying to connect with you. And, you know, what I'm getting here with you is some of you are night owls. You work better at night. And this is where spirit guides really want you to kind of shift your life a little bit. Um, you know, I like to wake up at about six in the morning and I go to bed at about 10. So if you're somebody that wakes up at 6 and goes to bed at 10, but you're a night owl, spirit guides are wanting you to shift that chunk of time a little bit more uh, later. So you're waking up a little bit later and going to bed a little bit later. Or moving it forward where you're getting up as the moon is out and where everything is quiet and you work better in those quiet hours in the day. I prefer the earlier time. I rather get up at like say 4 in the morning rather than at 7. I'm just a, a morning person, so I enjoy morning routines, everything, and that way I feel like I have more time in the day for myself. So spirit guides are really wanting some of you to shift the time that you get up, like to kind of, and this will change your life in a big way as well. So you're going to notice a lot of things that you're going to experience that were hidden, that are going to show up and reveal themselves just from you shifting even an hour of your day, like this way or that way. Okay, so this is coming through for you. Some of you need to do a moon ritual. This is going to be very powerful for you because some of you Scorpios out there are uh, manifestors and you have this power to manifest and bring um, a lot of things into your reality. And during the full moon or the new moon, which is coming up here in a couple of days, uh, is going to be very powerful for you. So do some moon rituals here, especially those of you that are that know how to do this. Um, I'm going to try to actually incorporate that into my channel where we collectively do a moon ritual together during the full moon or the new moon. Maybe I'll do it around the full moon here. I'll probably do a live video or something. But I've got a lot of things going on right now in my life. I'm, I'm switching up my whole studio. So instead of my bedroom, I'm moving it to my daughter's room, which I'm setting up right now. So you'll see a new space here. So 
you know what? I feel there's a lot of changes coming through for you, Scorpios. There's a lot of spirit guides are wanting you to have a sacred space in your home as well. Okay. This is where the mystery and the magic is going to come into your life. That sacred space, maybe a corner of your home where you put a cushion, light some candles and really practice meditation or tapping into on into the other side or talking to your spirit guides. Some of you are, um, you have, some of you are, you have psychic abilities. There's some sort of, uh, divination that um something that you naturally harness that is very spiritual and this is why spirit guides want you to tap into that but have a sacred space in your home and to practice this early in the morning or at night because this is where that mystery and magic is going to start happening for you especially though those of you that are trying to develop your skills in the spiritual realm um, especially with your psychic abilities your spiritual abilities you're going to see an enhancement there as well there is an ascension happening for some of you and that sacred space in your home is going to help. And spirit guides are really wanting you to also, uh, there's a lot of uh, rituals that uh, spirit guides are wanting you to incorporate. And they're really wanting you to find something that is your own here, Scorpio. Okay, I feel for some of you, like, some of you are very misunderstood. And this is kind of what they're bringing in. And, you know, once you start to kind of understand how... I don't know why they're saying this, but some of you are very much into the spiritual realm, into your spiritual abilities, psychic abilities, right? They're saying that that misunderstood feeling that other people feel around you, or maybe you're feeling this, maybe you perhaps feel that you're misunderstood. All of this is going to, there's going to be a lot of clarity around this for you. All right, Scorpio. So there's going to be a lot of understanding a lot of people that see eye to eye with you there's almost like a soul tribe coming in for you so this is a very powerful energy moon ritual they keep repeating the moon ritual so practice that if you can here scorpio so know there's a lot of beautiful things happening in your life definitely something new coming in and beware of the devil in your life don't give it any attention and watch how your life transforms okay so this is very uh strong this the energy is there i'm feeling it i'm feeling the goosebumps as well i don't know if you can see them through the screen but i've got goosebumps for you I'm now going to pull an angel, uh, sorry, a bonus card for you before the angel card. This is a new deck I received. It's called the L Key Oracle deck. It's all about brave warrior women. And it's all about embracing your masculine and your feminine energies, all of us, right? Men and women. I tend to lean towards my masculine energy with um, confidence, right? So... I'm going to pull a card here and see what message we get for you today. I might butcher the name, so I apologize beforehand if I do. These are unique names, but they're absolutely beautiful. Enid, she who doubts, fear, wariness, and trust is coming through for you. So Enid, I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook. So give me a moment here while I find this page for Enid. Where is Enid? There she is. Okay, so... Scorpio, Enid, she who doubts, is learning how to let go of mistrust. She has scars, both visible and invisible, that have held her back from living fully. She carries an ornate emerald pendant, which is said to promote the truth. It calms the wearer and restores self-esteem. Even though Enid is young, she knows that allowing doubt to hold her back will only harm herself. With the cautious eye of a weary doe, Enid ventures back out into the world. The message of this card is to examine your own doubts. We all have been injured by life in one way or another. If we continue to hide in the shadows, then we will allow those who did us injustice to win. Now is the time to let go of old misgivings and learn to trust again. Wariness is not a bad thing unless you are using it to give yourself permission to hide from life. Put on a trusty talisman, slip your scarf from your ears so all your senses are engaged and trust in your, your own unique power. Isn't that just beautiful? What a, I, I feel this is such a beautiful message and I feel this is tying in with the uh, moon card for some of you. Okay, so perhaps there is something that you, maybe you're hiding and you're wanting to kind of, spirit guides are wanting you to come out into the light and not hide behind anything anymore. 
All right, so this is your message through the Oracle card and through your tarot deck. I'm now going to pull an angel number for you, Scorpio. So those of you that have been seeing angel numbers, this is going to be your confirmation. And for others, you can use this as an affirmation. All right, I've got cards jumping out. So let's pull the very first one. Two, two, two. I am balanced. Scorpio, if you've been seeing two, two, twos everywhere, this is your message that you, my friends, are balanced and balance is coming your way as well. Let me read this to you. Trust that the seeds of your thoughts are growing as you are nourishing them with words, feelings, and actions. Look at that. What a powerful message. So this is your reading, my friends. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.